Hi everyone, happy winter. I have my cushy fur on because it's freezing in New York. Today's vlog is about words and how words can affect our state of mind when we're singing and in life in general. So let's talk about the, the power of positive words versus the power of negative words. I want you to do this little exercise with me. I want you to ask yourself a question. It can be very benign. It can be like, um, do I want to have uh, pancakes for breakfast or raisin bran? And then I want you to say the word yes to yourself and see how that feels. And then I want you to ask yourself the question again and say the word no and see how that feels. If you're like most people, the word yes makes you feel relaxed or excited or happy. And the word no, even if you don't want pancakes or raisin bran or whatever it is, makes us feel tense. So any sort of negative thought makes us feel tense. But what does that tell us? When we're singing, if we're having negative thoughts, which we, you know, often people have negative thoughts, uh, what we need to do is A, ignore them, or B, try to replace them with positive thoughts. So most of my students don't do well if, you know, they're singing along and they think, oh, I hate that, I, I just sound awful. If I tell them to tell themselves I sound great, that doesn't really work. They don't really believe that. So the best thing to do is just to focus on what is feeling good when you're singing so, so that you continue to feel relaxed and you can focus because when you're tense, then you can't do anything. You can't focus. So you've got to focus on what is positive, what's happening that is positive. For example, if you're singing, um, I don't know, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. And you feel like, oh, it just didn't, it just didn't sound loud enough or it just didn't sound uh, high enough or whatever it is. Um, if you say to yourself, well, oh, I'm really breathing well. Oh, I'm really holding, holding the pitches for the correct duration of time. Oh, I'm really singing the right melody. That kind of encouraging thought process helps you to move forward in your singing and also in, your, in, in anything, anything that you'd want to practice. So the power of positive thinking. I know we've all heard it a bunch of times, uh, but as much as you can, try to insert positive thoughts that are real, not fake positive thoughts, not like, oh, I sound amazing, because that doesn't work. You won't believe it. But real positive thoughts. Oh, I'm breathing well today. Oh, I really held that air in well. I got that phrase right. Things like that will really help and aid you in practicing and getting better and better.